Hello everybody, welcome to Systems Within Systems. I'm C4 Lawrence Hill. You can check me out on systemswithinsystems.com and that will connect you with all the sites. So I got a write in talking or asking more about trigger points, explaining more about that, and going into more detail about how they actually work. Trigger points are, uh, <clears throat> are a little bit more complicated than, uh, than what, what you see. They're very abstract in the way of movement and understanding your body movement. So right now we're dealing with wind a little bit. I'll try to talk a little bit louder. We are working on getting a mic for me uh, as we progress and go through this learning curve. So you guys at home watching this, just crank it up. All right, so a trigger point has a lot of different dimensions to actual movement. A trigger point is where you're going to be launching off your attack. The trigger point is only known to the person who is launching off the attack depending on where you're going to be hitting on an individual. All right, so before we did videos, I showed where we were just moving slow and you're paying attention to your body movement and all of the uh, muscle movement that's coming in. That's a pretty difficult thing and that will take a little time to explain as well. But for now, you could do a little isometric, say you're practicing with the ball, and you do a little isometrics and you're feeling how your muscles are moving through every switch in your hand. If I'm coming in straight, but not just here, throughout your whole body. This helps set a trigger point. The problem with fighting or combat is it's never a direct line. All right, so if you were gonna say trigger points, right? If I'm standing here, here would be a trigger point. So when people basically punch or throw something, especially when you get into open hand fighting, which is actually more dangerous, if I'm sitting here and I throw something, my trigger point is here, right? So if this was a platform and I'm throwing, this would be where my trigger point is. Well, that's not really correct. The trigger point will start here. As, I'm thrown, as I go to throw it, it switches from here to here. From here to here, I'm not just simply throwing directly into the target. So if I'm standing here and here's my trigger point and I'm going this way, you see it's just going in and out, right? My trigger point before I throw will move. So now as, I, as I'm actually in the process of throwing it, my trigger point from here moves and then I throw. It's not here, all right? This is what people think my trigger point. So I see my shot and I go this way in and out. That's very, um, you know, commercial fighting. That's very ring fighting. If you're gonna be fighting on the street or in combat, it's gotta be more stealth, but you know where it's going. So if I'm standing here with the same punch on this angle, and as I go, here's my trigger point, I'm setting up, I'm not going straight in and straight back. As I go to throw it, it pitches. That's my trigger point, it changes the direction which allows me to hit that energy wall and come back faster. If I'm here, I just don't go, you see, like a jab. The jab changes because it's gonna move a little bit and then it moves and then the punch is coming differently. So when you're directing your points and directing your trigger points, it's not just launching from here. They move a little bit. I'm not coming straight in and straight back. It comes in, it comes out differently, it comes in a little bit differently, but it ends back to your original setup. So the trigger point isn't in your setup. The trigger point is here and then it moves as I'm striking, depending on the person you're hitting or what's going on in front of you. If I use Vic for a second, right? So this is complicated stuff. Maybe Vic, maybe more here, right? So this is, if I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna throw a punch and I'm throwing it this way, see? This is what people would consider a trigger point. I'm coming right in from here. So he goes to block it and it's coming straight in. A trigger point will anticipate the movement by a little pitch. So here he also sees this is my attack. He goes to block and this is, this is my jab, right? If I trigger point it and I'm moving here, it trigger point, and you see how it comes around. So here now trigger point it differently and it comes over, right? So now if I'm coming, boom, it's just coming in, then this has got a trigger point, not this way, or even my leg, because he's setting up for a, a nice kick here, right? It's not got a trigger point this way. If he's back here and I go, bam, here, this sets up here, all right, so I see his block, now I may come with the same hand again. 
So you start to see how that works. Thanks, Vic. So trigger points allow you to know what you are going to hit. The individual standing in front of you has their blockage and whatnot, and is doing what they're doing, and you want to you want to be able to move through it. Also, trigger points are not subject to like the armament that's in front of you. You're attacking whatever that armament is. If their hands are up this way here, or they're doing this way here, you're going to go through that armament as that's more what combat is actually doing. So again, if I'm standing with a straight punch here, this is not your trigger point. This is your setup point. Your trigger point will come as you design the movement and understand that movement. So like if I'm just coming this way, right, this now becomes my trigger point and then I strike. So now when I, if I did it slow, like we were talking about before, and I come out this way here, I'm feeling how first here's my setup. Then I trigger point here. As I trigger point, I'm paying attention slowly through the muscle groups, what I'm tightening up in my stomach. Stomach tightening is very important. How I'm feeling my leg, what's coming down through my leg. All the muscle groups, boom. And it all strikes at that one contact point, which allows a great deal of power to come through. The idea of the energy wall is it hits, it comes back because eventually you'll start punching too strong for your hands, your bone structure to take. And if you hit a human skull or anywhere on a person, you gotta be able to have that shock wave that's really gotta do the damage. Not just that, that's what causes a real knockout. It's the percussion that you're actually hitting a person with, creating their body to go into shock. So from here, if I'm coming out here and I'm punching, this is not your trigger point. You see, if I'm here, I got come slow. Now I pitched it a little bit different. This is my setup point. This is my trigger point, right? So my trigger point is in here and I go this way. That's just very straightforward. And from here, it changes the pitch. Just like I was demonstrating, even though we kept the range away with Vic out here, how you could see the differences and how he knew that actually those punches are gonna be coming in so fast and hitting with so much power, you're not gonna be really starting it. And one movement he does sets up for the next movement, that's your trigger points. You as the, as the person that's being the aggressor or the person that also works with blocking as well, or being the blocker off of that will always be able to amalgamate to change your direction instantaneously. It's almost like you're throwing your kicks and your punches in the air and as you're doing that, they change. That's how they get in. It's very good when it comes to weapon fighting and also defending against weapons. In the future videos, it was also recommended for me to start doing some form work and I'm gonna start doing that, some form as well and breaking down the moves there. And also, uh, we're gonna be dealing with how to defend uh, against weapons. And that all comes from your trigger points and designing what's going on here. This will be used Vic again for a second. So to give you an idea in combat, if he takes a, come over here Vic, he does a fighting stance. All right, so here's his fighting stance. Already I see he has his open line here. Uh, he's shown me his defenses. He's got both hands ready to come out and clock me. Both legs, basically, he's got some quick movement here. May limit his kicking a little bit because he's standing close, but he's got some quick movement. So both armaments here can come out and cause a problem in the fight, just on the stance itself. So he's already telling me what he, his position is. When I trigger to him or when I mount my attack, you could see I'm equal to his coverage. This leg is covering this, here and here and here. I'm equal. Now if I'm gonna trigger, he goes, if I'm gonna do a straight punch and he blocks it, it's just easy. If I'm here and I trigger, it comes around. So now from here, boom, you see how they come in, right? How you're starting to see how the trigger didn't come here, I didn't go one, two it went one two it comes over and that triggered a little bit differently and that's how you start to actually see a person's structure when a person thanks for that when a person or an individual stand in front of you with a weapon or their hands are up they're telling you how you should attack that's basically what you want that's why in my attacks or what i do is always standing from here and it's coming up out of nowhere especially in street so if i'm on the street and I'm fighting somebody, I'm not gonna be doing this here, it's gonna be moving here. And then my hands will come up, depending on what that individual is doing. 
Now you're using combat strategy and attack points. If you put weapons in your hands, you have, you know, whatever uh, weapon you may have in your hand, it becomes even more dangerous as far as uh, more destructive if you're fighting another person with weapons. It's a lot different than TV and a lot different than in the ring. So trigger points mask things down. So as I'm coming through here, I'm not going here. Okay, this is my setup. I change this. As I'm here, I'm not going here. As I punch, it changes. You see there's a little pitch? If I come here, I'm not going this way here. It changes. It changes. It. And that's basically where your trigger point comes. It's in the motion. It's in the movement. It's not in the setup. As I go to punch, it moves. That's my trigger point. It's not here. All right, guys. You're going to have to practice with that. The best way to practice that is nice and slow. I sit here and I go here. I come and I feel the muscle movement. I'm going to come here. I feel the muscle movement. Right? I feel the muscle movement. Here. Here. So you can see this moves from here to here. It came up with the hammer. I just didn't go here. It moves, which alters the whole execution of the technique and also the power. All right, guys, if you have any more questions on that, feel free to write in and let me know. Grow, learn, teach. See you soon.